At a glance, you might only notice band members doing what they love. But it's where they're practicing that's put them on the city's radar. That's ridiculous. Austin Zettner says his band rents a unit at this storage facility in Leon Valley because it's affordable and somewhat secluded. It's $150 a month. It's in a commercial zone. There should be no problem with the noise that is really not that loud outside at all. And he says managers at Lockaway Storage allow it. Yeah, they know that bands play here. They encourage bands to play here. I paid an extra $10 a month for electricity because I have a band account. We've given them repeated warnings. City leaders say bands practicing inside storage units violates the business's certificate of occupancy and creates fire and other hazards. The city sets safety standards based on land use. And that's the key. That's all we care about is the safety of those people that are in that building. And right now, they're not safe doing what they're doing. I understand that they're uh, you know, enforcing what they believe to be right, and uh, we just don't see eye to eye on that. So, Property manager Jordan Ames says he rents to small bands that are not performing for crowds or hosting raves at the facility. Instead, he says small groups gather with no more than three to five bands practicing throughout the property at any given time. How is that any different than uh, five people moving in or out on, a, on any given day? With their movers. The business has received four citations within the past 30 days for land use violations. The next step will be that we'll have to shut the business down. The most recent visit from police and the fire marshal was earlier today. The business was again put on notice for violating city code. If they want to do this, that's the right way to do this, and we want them to do it right so that nobody gets hurt.